Yo what's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make abstract shapes for headers just like this one and yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, you're gonna choose the polygonal last tool and you're gonna uh, draw a shape uh, just like that, I'm gonna make a triangle. Now creating your layer and press D and Control backspace to fill it in with white. Now bring it wherever you like. Make it a bit bigger if you want. And creating your layer and flipping mask it to the one below by holding Alt and clicking in between. And now take the polygon and lasso tool again. Click on one of the edges. Go around here in the middle and go over to another edge. Select it and press G to bring the gradient tool. Choose your colors of the gradient and click here and drag over here to create the gradient. Now you can play around with it on uh, your liking. And yeah, I'm gonna click that. Now press Ctrl T, making your layer below that one. And make another gradient, gradient on the other. Uh, triangle. Now create another layer in between those. Uh, click the polygon lasso tool. Click once in the middle uh, and on the other two edges connect it up just like that. And now press G again and make the final gradient over here. There we go. I like this one so yeah. Next, you're gonna make another layer above all these. Uh, connect the clipping mask it to the white and set the blend mode to overlay. Now, uh, you can choose any spot to make it even brighter. Add some highlights, something like that, maybe, or like that. Yeah, that's good in my opinion. So now I'm going to show you how to add the lens flare. You're going to go on Google, uh, make a new tab, and search for a uh, line flare. And you're going to choose one that you like. For example, this one is pretty good. I'm going to right click save image as and take it over to Photoshop. Now you can uh, take the eraser tool and delete if there's any stuff like that. Maybe soften up the edges a bit and set the blend mode to screen to remove the black areas. Now you can put it wherever you like. For example in an edge over here. It might look good. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, but if you want to make it even better, you can make another la uh, linear touch add layer and with a soft round brush and the dark color of the, your color, uh, dab ones around it and uh, bring the opacity a bit down. Uh, finally, you can double click the uh, shape layer and put in a shadow make it white, make it 2 pixels and there you go, you can also do something like that or if you want you can also put it on overlay to make it look even cooler and yeah, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one, bye!